Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to the channel where we make educational technology easy for you. In today's video, we'll be looking at the updated grid view for Google Meet, which is natively built into Google Meet. So let's dive into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now, my previous video on the grid view extension has been watched many times and I see a lot of comments about people complaining that it no longer works, that the extension no longer works. Well, that is all because Google is now supporting a native version of that grid view. So you now have a tiled view and we're going to be looking at that tiled view together because there's been some updates and we can now have up to 49 people in our grid. This is still different from the previous extension, which had no limit for as far as I'm aware, but 49 is a great start. And so let's just see what we can do and where we can do this. So first things first, let's open up a new tab and let's navigate to Google Meet. So meet.google.com. Now once here, we're going to start a new meeting. Let's just call this tiled view and let's go into our meeting. Now, once you've got your preview, let's go ahead and enter your meeting. We're going to click on join now we are now in our Google Meet. Now, the first thing you want to do is navigate to the bottom right corner. That's where you see three dots and that's where you will select your different tiled view. So we're going to click on those three dots and we now have the change layout option. Now under change layout, we have a number of different options there, but the one that we're looking for is tiled. Now, previously the tiled view was a very small number of different participants we could see. Now we have a slider here down at the bottom and we can bring this all the way down to six or up to 49 participants. Whichever you select will then be the number of people displayed onto your screen. Now this is a great way of making sure that your meeting is optimized for the number of participants. Now, if you have a larger meeting, sadly, we cannot use the extension anymore. There are other alternatives. There are some extensions that will still do that. And I will leave a link in that description below to those extensions. However, they are not perfect and things do break as we keep seeing new updates to Google Meet. So I would suggest try to stick to the built-in native options as much as possible. If it is absolutely necessary, then check out that description below with some additional links that will help you to get a bigger grid view. Now, if you enjoyed this, make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification so you get notified whenever a new video goes live. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.